Hello, in this linear algebra video, we're going to look at the Gaussian method of solving a system of equations. So example one, we have a demand equation and a supply equation. And we want to find the equilibrium price and quantity, the values for P and Q. So we're going to put the equations in augmented matrix form to solve the system of equations. And to do that, we're going to get the constant on the right-hand side of the equation. So the, the demand equation here, we're going to get the constant on the right-hand side and keep all the variables on the left-hand side. And we do the same thing for the supply equation. We want the variables to line up in columns, so all the Q variables should line up in a column, and all the other variables, the price variables, should line up in a column. Now putting the, the, these two equations in the matrix here. The coefficient on Q is 1. The coefficient on Q underneath that is 1. The coefficient on the price variable is 1. The coefficient on this price variable is minus 1. And then again we have the constants. The dots separate the coefficients on the variables from the constants. So the Gaussian meth method is first we want to get a 1 in A11. What is A11? A11 refers to row 1, column 1. So the first step we want to do is get a 1 right here where my mouse is, row 1, column 1, and then zeros everywhere else in that column. Next step is to get a 1 in A22. That's row 2, column 2. So here's the second row. Here's the second column, so we want to get a 1 right here. And then we want to have zeros everywhere else in that second column. So we would want then eventually to get a 0 right here where my mouse is. If we have three equations and three unknowns, we would want to get a, row, we would want to get a 1 in row 3, column 3, and then zeros everywhere else in column 3. Some allowable row operations. These are row operations that you can do to try to get ones where we need ones and zeros where we need zeros. So any row can be multiplied by a constant. Can't multiply a row by zero, but any constant, positive or negative. And any multiple of a row can be added or subtracted from any other row. So we might multiply one row by two and then subtract that from another row, for example. So let's solve this system of equations. Good news is we already have a 1 in A11. So now we have to get a 0 everywhere else in that column. So we need a 0 in row 2, column 1. And one way we can do that is subtract row 1 from row 2. So subtracting row 1 from row 2, so 1 minus 1. So 1 minus 1, we get a 0 here. Minus 1 minus 1 is why we got a minus 2 here. And then minus 20 minus 100 is why we have minus 120 here. So our next step is we need to get a 1 in row 2, column 2. And the easiest way to do that is to multiply row 2 by minus 1 half. So minus 0.5 or 1 half times 0 is 0. Minus 0.5 times minus 2 is just 1. And then finally minus 0.5 times minus 120 is 60. The next thing we need is a 0 in row 1 column 2, so we need a 0 right here where my mouse is. And we can do that by subtracting row 2 from row 1. So 1 minus 0 is just 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. And 100 minus 60 is where this 40 is coming from. And now we're basically finished. The level of output, or the equilibrium level output, Okay, so for the Q coefficient here, 1, uh, it equals 40. So equilibrium output is 40. 
and then the coefficient on the price term here is 1, and so the price equals 60. And that is how you can solve a system of equations, two equations, two unknowns, with the Gaussian method. Let's do another example, slightly different supply and demand problem. So putting the equations in augmented matrix form, moving the constants to one side, the variables to the other, and then plugging in the coefficients on those variables into our matrix. And now proceeding. We already have a 1 in row 1, column 1, so we need to get a 0 beneath it. Uh, we can do that by subtracting row 1 from row 2. So 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3, and then minus 20 minus 100 is minus 120, negative 120. Next, we need to get a 1 <clears throat> in row 2, column 2. So where this minus 3 is, we want to have that uh, become a 1. And we can do that by multiplying row 2 by minus 1 third. So 0 multiplied by minus 1 third is 0. Minus 3 times minus 1 third is 1. And negative 120 multiplied by minus 1 third is 40. Next step is we need a 0 in row 1, column 2. So where this 2 is, we need that to become a 0. And the easiest way to do that is subtract 2 times row 2 from row 1. So we're going to multiply row 2. We're going to multiply row 2 by 2 and then subtract that from row 1. So 1 minus 0 times 2 is just 1. 2 minus 1 times 2 is 0. 100 minus 2 times 40 is just 20. And now we are done. The equilibrium quantity is 20, and the equilibrium price is 40.